Intel was once the brain behind every computer, but now it's struggling to keep up with its competitors. Power-hungry processors, ongoing security flaws, and stiff competition from AMD have left many wondering if Intel is still worth the investment. Intel's 13th gen chip, they call it Raptor Lake, which was supposed to be the king of the hill, especially for power users. But once people started using them, there were some big problems. The biggest one? These chips suck up a ton of power, especially the really fast ones like the i9-13900K. Intel promised they'd be more efficient, but real-world tests showed that's not true. Basically, when you push these chips hard, they get super thirsty for electricity. This means your PC gets hotter, and it's a real headache if you're building a small PC with limited cooling. Plus, all that extra power usage means your electricity bills will be higher. Not great if you want to save money. Another issue people found was that these chips weren't stable when you tried to max them out. Instead of getting super fast speeds, the chips would slow down or even crash sometimes. This made people think that Intel didn't thoroughly test the stability of these chips before releasing them, which means they prioritize speed over reliability. Also, Intel kept using a mix of fast P cores and also power-saving E cores. That sounds good in theory, but in reality, it meant performance was all over the place depending on what you were doing. Gamers and video editors noticed that some tasks, especially the ones that need a single really fast core, didn't run as fast as they should. Sometimes these chips were actually slower than older models because the power-saving cores just couldn't keep up with the tough stuff. On top of everything else, Raptor Lake chips also run really hot. Even with better cooling, people have noticed these chips get way hotter than older models. It gets even worse when you try to make them run at full speed, sometimes getting dangerously close to overheating. This is bad news because it can shorten the life of your CPU and also make it slow down to cool itself off, which means you're not getting the full power you paid for. All these issues together make it seem like Intel rushed these chips out the door. Maybe to try and beat AMD to the market, but the end result is a chip that looks good on paper, but doesn't work as well as it should in real life. A lot of tech enthusiasts and professionals are pretty disappointed. With the launch of the 14th Gen Meteor Lake chips, Intel wanted to fix all the problems they had with Raptor Lake. These new chips were hyped up a lot, with Intel promising they'd be more efficient, faster, and have AI features. On paper, Meteor Lake looked like it would solve all of Raptor Lake's issues. But as people started using them, they realized that while some things were better, there were also new, unexpected problems. One of the biggest problems with these new 14th gen chips is that they don't always play nice with DDR5 memory. Now, DDR5 is the latest and greatest type of memory, supposed to be way faster than the old stuff, but a lot of people are having trouble when they use certain DDR5 sticks with these new Intel chips. Their computers are freezing, crashing, or not even starting up at all. This has been a huge pain, especially for folks who spent a ton of money on DDR5 memory, expecting everything to run perfectly. The weird thing is that these problems weren't as common with the older Raptor Lake chips, so it looks like something in the new design of Meteor Lake is causing these issues that Intel hasn't fixed yet. Another thing is, even though Intel said these chips would be more power efficient, they still run pretty hot. This is especially noticeable when you're doing heavy-duty stuff for a long time, like editing videos or 3D modeling. For people who need their computers to run fast all the time, like video editors or data scientists, this overheating is a big problem. It can cause the chip itself to slow down to avoid getting too hot, which means you're not getting the full speed Intel promised. And what makes it worse is that people were really hoping Meteor Lake would be much cooler than the older Raptor Lake chips, which also ran hot. And I think Intel focused too much on making these chips fast and not enough on keeping them cool. Also, Intel talked a lot about how these new chips would be way better at AI stuff. But so far, that hasn't really been the case. Even though Meteor Lake has some new AI features, most people haven't seen much of a difference in how their computer actually works. For normal users and even some professionals, the AI improvements seem more like a marketing trick than something truly useful. This makes people wonder if Intel should have focused on fixing basic problems like speed and stability instead of adding AI stuff. All of these problems have put a damper on what was supposed to be a big win for Intel. They did fix some things from the older chips, but these new issues with Meteor Lake show they still have a lot of work to do if they want to win back everyone's trust. 
Oh, and before moving on, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any updates. Security Vulnerabilities Security has been a big headache for Intel lately. Remember those Spectre and Meltdown problems a few years ago? Those were huge. Basically, they found major security flaws in Intel chips that could let hackers steal your private information, things like passwords, personal data, and even your financial details. Intel had to rush to create fixes, and it was a big hit to their reputation. Unfortunately, even their newest chips, 13th and 14th gen, aren't perfect. Researchers have found new ways hackers could attack them, like with Zombie Load and Foreshadow. These attacks let hackers peek at your secret data, like passwords and stuff you thought was safe. Even with software fixes, it's hard to completely stop these attacks. Sometimes they need to change how the chips are actually built, which is harder and more expensive. Despite their newer 13th and 14th gen chips, Intel is still dealing with security problems. Those old Spectre and Meltdown type flaws are still popping up, just in trickier ways that are harder for hackers to use. But the fact that they're still there shows that Intel hasn't fully fixed things. People who really care about security are getting nervous, especially tech experts who warn about the risks of using Intel chips when you need to keep data super safe. Intel does release fixes, but there are so many updates and warnings that it feels like they're always one step behind the hackers. Every new problem means another update, and those updates can sometimes slow your computer down. That's a big deal for people who need their computers to be as fast as possible. For big companies, especially ones that handle sensitive information like banks or hospitals, these security issues are a huge red flag. They can't afford to have their data stolen because of a flaw in their computer chips. This is making some companies rethink using Intel and look at other brands, like AMD instead. While Intel's been struggling, their competitors haven't been sitting still. AMD, with their Ryzen chips, has been winning over a lot of people. Their Ryzen 7000 series, in particular, is faster and more power efficient than Intel's latest stuff, which has caused many users to switch teams. AMD isn't the only one giving Intel a run for their money. Apple is also shaking things up with their own M1 and M2 chips. These chips, designed and made by Apple themselves, are efficient. They give you amazing performance without draining your battery. This makes them popular with creative people and professionals who need their computers to be fast and last a long time. Plus, Apple is really good at making their hardware and software work together, which creates a smooth and optimized experience. This is putting a lot of pressure on Intel, who's been on top for so long. Also, more and more people are using Apple's chips in their laptops, desktops, and even for heavy-duty tasks like video editing and making software. This is a big change in the market, and it shows how popular Apple's chips have become. Even tech experts are appreciating them for how powerful and efficient they are. It's an amazing computer. It should be on your short list. Great all around. Easy to recommend. Plus, there are other new companies and exciting developments happening in the chip world. Everyone's investing in research to make the next big thing. And that means Intel can't just fix its old problems. It needs to stay ahead of the game, too. With AMD, Apple, and others hot on their heels, Intel's position as the top dog is definitely in question. So, what's next for Intel? Well, Intel has new chips coming out soon, called Arrow Lake and Lunar Lake. They're supposed to be way better, faster, and more efficient. But after all the problems with their last two generations of chips, Intel needs to win back people's trust. These new chips can't just be fast. They also need to fix the problems with power usage, stability, and security that have been plaguing Intel lately. If Intel wants to stay on top, they need to make sure these new chips are awesome and don't have any of the same old issues. Intel's had some rough times lately, and that's given companies like AMD and Apple a chance to shine. Intel's still a big name, but they can't just coast on their past successes anymore. The whole tech world is watching to see if they can get back on track. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech deep dives. See you in the next video.